It's a casual atmosphere inside White Rabbit Galleries. You can admire art on display, pop your head in a studio while an artist is at work, or even try your own hand in art making. Barberton is kind of an art desert. So we thought that we would start this with the local artists. We could support them in their endeavors and in their businesses, as well as local makers. There's a consignment shop promoting local creatives, wall and studio space for rent, as well as regular exhibitions, both group and solo shows. A lot of times I will find artists that have never done gallery shows before and I just kind of, I just ask them, all right, like, would you like to have a solo exhibition or a group exhibition? And you can always tell when people get nervous because they've never done it before. And I always like to kind of calm their nerves a little bit because I tell them I have never run an art gallery before. It's not what I expected to be doing. Molly Brown and her mom, Laura Smith, had art studios in this building when it was under prior management. During the pandemic, they seized the opportunity to create their own vision for a community arts center. Having been born and raised in Barberton, we had a little bit more knowledge about Barberton and their uh, grasp of the arts, why you need arts, and expounded on that. So when the opportunity arose, we um, wrote up a business plan and went to the city with it, and it just took off from there. One artist to recently establish a studio here is painter Nick Lee. I'm really interested in art um, just because when you go to like a gallery or an institution, there's not that much representation for people that look like me. So I'm really interested in making that representation and trying to inspire more artists to represent us in American culture. Another artist, Mim Daniel, can be found in the studio with the blue door. So I say all the time I make art that makes me happy and I hope that that energy and attitude is conveyed to other people. So I do a lot with flowers and nature and the fantastical or whimsical and I also do a lot of work with inspirational art. Another artist, Ron White, works here in a variety of mediums. I'm a figural sculptor, an ice carver, a jeweler, and a mural drawer, and I love to use charcoal. Sometimes I use color in my own work, but I kind of think, for me, in my work, like if I apply color, I'm almost telling you, my opinion, how to feel. So I, I like monochromatic work better, that way the message is still open for you to bring an emotional quality. All right, see, it's opposite. White also teaches art at White Rabbit Galleries as well as at Barberton High School. I've seen all the talented students he's had at the high school, and I always admire what they do, so I was able to take lessons with him, and I find it a big blessing. I've had some deaths in my family, and I look at it as grief therapy for me, and it makes me feel really good that I can draw better. Art instruction is another part of the mission for this community art space. With a grant from Arts Now in Summit County, they plan to expand from prior offerings. Some of the classes were like Sumi ink painting, which is a Japanese painting technique, watercolor, acrylics, and we even had a local artist that is developing a game where everybody sits down and they do artwork and they pick a card and what they need to add to their artwork and sometimes pass it on to the artist next to them to complete. The aim here is to welcome artists of all abilities, including those who might not even consider themselves artistic. We're trying to get the community involved and sometimes when you talk to people, they're always like, oh, well, I'm not an artist. And I always tell people like, even if you're at home cooking and like you, you really enjoy that and you're putting something on a plate, and you're crafting a composition on your plate that makes you an artist. If you're out in the yard gardening and you're creating like bouquets of flowers, it really makes you an artist. One artist from Barberton on display didn't really get exposure for her art until after she passed away. Her husband donated her paintings to White Rabbit Galleries, which now support a scholarship. Carol Rucker Marsh 
was a traditional artist that worked in oil painting and then went through acrylic painting and she never showed anyone. And it's kind of a shame because she had talent and skill and she should have shared that with people outside of just giving free paintings away at church and things like that. But that's why we're here so that we can give people that opportunity. They're also trying to bring new people to Barberton and have enjoyed getting submissions from artists around the region. We have people from Aurora and Pepper Pike and a lot of from like more Cleveland area, um, but then we'll have people from Canton and we go further south. But it's fun because Barberton isn't well known for art, but when the people submit, they're coming from places that also aren't well known for art, but they don't have to go to Akron or Cleveland or Columbus for that. While operating White Rabbit Galleries is currently a volunteer effort, the Barberton natives are at home feeding the arts in their community.